I think perfection is to, to be just ahead of somebody a little bit. The whole concept of perfection is kind of a sort of a mysterious thing anyway. Is, is perfection possible? That particular time, and the way how she was performed, the way how was obtained, and the age, and the stage, and the performance of that young, young person, really, truly deserve to be uh, rewarded for that perfect time. Outside of the gymnastic community, nobody knew who I was, first of all. Uh, I don't think that people knew where Romania was on the map. Uh, and there comes a 14-year-old from some mysterious country, and she does things that people haven't seen before. And everybody was impressed by the fact that I was doing it so easily. Even though she was a super talented young child, as, uh, as natural uh, abilities. She was fearless. She didn't say a lot, which made it mysterious and interesting and intriguing. And she could do many skills that the guys couldn't do, and she did them effortlessly. We did a team photo at the airport in Romania before we uh, traveled to Montreal, and uh, I was asked by a um, journalist, what do I think I'm going to do uh, at those games? And I said, I hope to win a medal and if it's possible to be gold. The uh, entire experience was overwhelming for me uh, at that time because I was so young. Once you enter the arena, I've never seen so many people probably in my entire life uh, attending a competition like that. I knew that was big because I've watched it on TV, but once you're there and then you hear all the noise, from all the people supporting their own countries because you're competitors from all over the world. And uh, let's roll, because once you get in the arena, there's no time to go back. <laughs> Her personality is the way, it's just like an engine. The harder the stunt is coming, the better the performance is behind it. The, the, the further I'm going, the tougher I'm gonna be. The, the, the competition is gonna be tougher, I'm gonna be even tougher. That was Nadia. But you never seen on her eyes. I never seen. She was always, you know, that, that positive, but very, 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 very profound mask of st striking young athlete. I didn't feel it. It was quite perfect. Uh, because I've done it so many times in training, and um, even though it looks pretty good from outside, you know, um, I, I thought I could have done better. I didn't even do a quite perfect landing on that, but the routine was so much better than the girl before me that they had no place to go, and they had to give me a 10, I guess. The computers were not ready to show a 10, uh, so it, the 1.00 came as a score, which it was very confusing for everybody. I'm looking on the scoreboard, and I'm looking at one, immediately went through my mind, it's a penalty. So then penalty, somebody, somebody penalizing. We had a direct competition with the Soviets at that time. I mean, a, a heated, a, a heated confrontation. I said, oh, the Russians did something to me. Okay. So I'm heading it toward the jury. I mean, the head of the jury, I'm heading. And the halfway between, between me and uh, the jury table, suddenly an answer came up. Ladies and gentlemen, for first time in the history of the a perfect ten. Wow, 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 wow. You could not believe that fire, that explosion, people on their they feet, they were stepping on the floor. I mean, the flashlights, it was just unbelievable moment. When they decided to do the new scoreboard, they actually called the International Gymnastics Federation and said, we're building a scoreboard, we want to know how we have to get it right. And Is there any possibility that a gymnast could get a 10? Because we have to decide how many decimal points with light bulbs can we put to the left of the decimal point. And so they said, oh no, nobody can get a 10, so just make it one character and a decimal point and then following characters after the decimal point. I got seven tens uh, at those games and they were all like bars beam, bars beam, bars beam, bars. Pretty much the same event, uh, the same two events. Um, and uh, I won three gold, one silver and one bronze. People don't remember that as much as they do the ten. It's, that's like what defined my, uh, uh, my Olympic glory in 76. I don't think anybody really 
knew the concept of a 10 being perfect at that time. So I think it, it made more of a cultural impact that way than it did people wanting to know more about Nadia Comaneci. So we live in Norman, Oklahoma, which is a great little college town right in the center of Oklahoma, where the University of Oklahoma is. And uh, here we have a core business all related to gymnastics things, things that we're passionate about. So uh, the core is, of course, the Gymnastics Academy, where we have about 40 coaches and uh, about 1,100 students. It's a very, very successful program. Everything we do is still connected to what we're passionate about, is gymnastics. The idea of flirting with perfection just changed everything and it captivated the world. It's a curiosity uh, I think that people have. What I've done is not only directed to, one sp to, to the sport, of course I represent the, the, the sport of gymnastics, but it's just that history that was happening 36 years ago, it just became wider because of that <laughs> 10 that nobody expected.